Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 26, and this is war number one. And we're going up against an alliance called Legends of the Battleground. Now, I almost forgot all about this war. So I'm getting in here really late. Uh, I was just about to go to bed, and I realized I had not uh, done anything. So let's uh, spectate first, and then we'll use up our energy. Uh, yeah, as you can see, they've already uh, taken out the mini on the left side. So sorry. Um, but I take path three, as you see here. Uh, they didn't place a defender. And then I will face long shot. And I'm pretty sure uh, that I can take him with pretty much anyone that I'm planning on bringing. Uh, Black Widow, Warlock, uh, or Nick Fury can take that fight. And then up here, we've got an Apocalypse on Mixmaster. And uh, I'm probably not going to be the one taking that fight. And then let's see, we've got Black Widow, Deadly Origins. Can probably do that fight with Nick Fury if I had to. Uh, and then we've got our favorite Colossus on this node. Black Widow tears him up. Thing on this node, uh, I can take him with uh, Black Widow or Nick Fury. Then we've got Mojo, annoying, uh, can possibly take him with Nick Fury. All depends on what shape I'm in when I get to that point and if I'm the only option there because usually the guy who takes uh, path one, if he's in good shape, uh, also has a good counter uh, for that mini. All right, and then we got mini boss island here. I usually take the uh, left side if I'm going to take anything at all. That uh, Killmonger looks annoying. I'm trying to think of who I would take him with if I had to. Um, possibly Warlock. I could armor break on my special two. Maybe. Then we've got Nick Fury in the corner here. Uh, I've taken that fight with uh, both Nick Fury and with uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant. And then we've got Doom. Uh, I can take that fight with uh, Nick Fury or Warlock uh, or Black Widow if uh, push came to shove. So just depends on what I'm asked to do. Uh, Sasquatch, usually someone brings in Human Torch for that fight. Uh, Thing on that node uh, is annoying. Someone perhaps with True Strike. Uh, we usually have uh, either one of the backups come in and they basically just bring in counters for all three on the right-hand side. So they just boost up one time and then just clear the right side in one pass. Uh, provided that they are not needed elsewhere. All right, so that's it. Now I got to go do those fights. And uh, so I will be back. And I will comment on, yeah, the last few fights that I have to take. And we'll see how it goes. All right, so bringing in my standard team of Nick Fury, Black Widow Clairvoyant, and Warlock. Didn't see anyone during my scouting that would make me change my mind. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, I was a little late uh, starting Alliance War here. Uh, but you can see they didn't place a defender on that first node. And so the first fight we're going to be uh, dealing with is Longshot. And Longshot is actually a pretty tricky fight. I generally don't want to take him to um, his special two. And whoever I fight him with, I like them to be incinerate immune, if at all possible. All right. But uh, we're going into this fight. And my goal, as you will see, is to get to her Curse of Hellfire. All right. So we're in Curse of Plague right there. And now we're in Curse of Hellfire. So in this phase, she is incinerate immune. Now, we still want to bait out his special one, 
uh, as much as possible, but if we accidentally push him to a special two, it won't be instant death, okay? Um, he has got me many a time with that special two, and sometimes he will gain power when I wasn't expecting him to gain power, and he'll get to the special two and then wreck me, okay? But as you can see here, uh, we got it pretty much under control. Now, I pushed him to a special two, but you'll notice I'm holding my block here. Okay. This is a little bit of a trick that you can do. When you hold your block, the AI is less likely to fire off their specials. They're also less likely to fire off a special if they're close to the next special. So because he was very close to his special three and I was holding block, he didn't really want to fire that special two off. So little pro tip there uh, when you're fighting. That's why you saw that it wasn't accidental that, you know, or, or lucky that he didn't fire his special. Uh, I was actually doing something to reduce the chance that the AI would do that. All right. So as you saw, I did not mess with that mix master node. And you see my two uh, alliance mates, they're waiting here for me uh, to deal with this Black Widow uh, deadly origin. She's got that EMP modification on her enhanced energy damage. She does energy damage folks. Uh, so you get hit, you're going to get wrecked. Um, not only that, but with the EMP modification, if you do too many buffs, if you generate too many buffs during this fight, uh, as soon as she fires her special off, chances are you're going to get wrecked hard. That has happened to me before. It'll probably happen to me in the future, but one of the strategies in dealing with this is to change out your mastery. So um, these master level alliances, that's what they do. They change out their mastery setups during alliance war, sometimes two and three times to deal with different nodes and, and different fights. Okay, I didn't, so I still have decks. So what I try to do here is just go aggressive mode, no dashing back, play like, uh, what was that node that we had? It wasn't no retreat. Um, there was a node, uh, forgot what it was called now. Uh, it's not in the game uh, that I can recall. Uh, every time you went backwards, you took up, uh, you took damage and you didn't want to go backwards and you had to fight like this if you didn't want to take your damage. Uh, so that's how I handled that fight. No dashing back. Um, you could dash back if you can do it early enough, but with Black Widow Deadly Origins, it's really difficult. Uh, so I decided just to go full force. If I pushed her to a, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, if I pushed her to a special, uh, two or a special and she, you know, went all aggressive on me. I was just going to take that block damage. All right. Uh, so now we're fighting a more familiar fight. And that is Colossus on this particular node. Black Widow Clairvoyant tears that node up very, very easily. All right. And boom, down he goes. She's usually a good option for most of the opponents that I find on that node. Uh, there has been uh, a couple of opponents where I had to pick someone else, go in with someone else. Now, this fight here, uh, this is actually a pretty good placement for a uh, thing. That heavy-handed is annoying, as well as the explosive personality. So generally, the way you want to fight thing is you want to fight him and manage his rock charges you don't want to get him to 15 and then hit him again he's going to go unstoppable chances are you're going to get wrecked nick fury is a great counter for him because if you uh apply a debuff that he's immune to it reduces his rock charges nick fury puts a bleed thing is bleed immune that's why you see his rock charges continually going down now here i was able to manage it so that I pushed him to a uh, his 15 rock charges, and then I baited out a special. When he fires off a special, all of his rock charges go bye-bye. All right, so that's pretty much 
how you handle thing on this node. Now, the tricky part, if you're going in here with someone else, you normally like, see how he's just offering me his shoulder? Uh, normally what you wanna do, if you get him say, um, with no power, say he's not even close to a special, and he's already at like 14 rock charges, and you know you can't hit him more than uh, you know two times or something like that, you hit into his block. Hitting into his block does not generate rock charges. So you can push him to a special and then bait it out. You can't do that on this node. Or if you do, you're going to have to deal with that explosive personality. Now, Black Widow Clairvoyant can handle that because she can... Um, well, no, she can't. Uh, normally, she can nullify, I was going to say. But Thing can't have his buffs nullified. So that's a really good placement for Thing. Um, but we were able to get him down with Nick Fury... Nick Fury is a great option. So is Falcon. Falcon is a beautiful option for that fight. Um, I don't generally bring in Falcon for war, but he is an awesome counter uh, for a lot of stuff. All right, so here we have a mini, and it's Mojo. And I hate fighting Mojo. But how I'm going to fight Mojo on the buffet node is just like how I fought Black Widow Deadly Origins on the EMP modification. You'll notice I'm just taking all the blocks. I'm dashing back only when he's not near me. I'm not triggering decks. I did not change out my masteries. And all I'm doing here, you know, I know I have the life model decoy still up. Okay. And you can see here, I even fired off a special one. Don't ask why. Um, I think I, I made a mistake and thought it was a special two. Uh, because that would have stunned him and I would have been able to continue on. All right. So here we go. And I just went right into his block, got lucky there. That time, he did not fire his special three, and he could have. And I beat into his block so that I could take him down. However, the reason I pushed to the special three is because the life model decoy was still up. So I wasn't too worried about that. Um, I still would have survived it, and we would have still been good. All right, so uh, the paths are cleared. I even took out a mini. Uh, we're good. All that's left at this point is the boss. And at this point, we're pretty sure we have the win. Okay? And so I was asked to uh, finish off this Apocalypse. I still cannot evade Apocalypse uh, specials. I really need to practice. I say that all the time. I can partially evade his special one. But I take damage. I take all of the damage for the first like one or two hits of it and then i evade the rest of it out so i don't avoid all damage i just minimize the amount of damage that i take which means if i'm low in health or um if he's beating me down uh so low he's gonna take me out all right i really need to learn how to evade his uh specials so you can see here i'm boosting up uh, even though it's just a little bit, the reason I'm boosting up here, the tech boosts especially, uh, were in the loyalty store. So I, you saw I was already capped out, and I'm able to get them again, cap out again. So why not? Why not uh, uh, do that? Now, what I should have done is put on an advanced power boost. That would have been special. Okay? So what I normally do against... Uh, apocalypse is I try to bait out a heavy like you see me doing here all right and it's difficult because of the protection to deal with the protection so he's taking less damage now because he has one stack I need to intercept him or knock him down and then he caught me there and I'm like oh my goodness and then I panicked you know I, I got him to a special three panicked and was like okay he's not throwing it but he knows he's got me he knows he's got me, so I, I'm just going all out. Just trying to do as much damage as possible before I go down. All right, look, I, I got some more damage in. And look at this. Surprise, surprise. I got um, I got the infections on him, and we're getting the uh, power down. I was like, whoa, that was some lucky stuff right there. However, I'm low in health. All right, and look, he's just chipping away at me. All right, and so I'm just like, oh, man. We could we could do this, you know? And you see, I'm trying to bait him out, but yep, and here we go, and I'm too low. 
All right, boom, boom, gone. All right, if I could evade his special one, that fight could have gone a little bit differently. Even though I messed up and got hit and stunned on his second, uh, what was it, second medium or second attack. Um, but we, we could have had that. Do you see the power of Warlock? Took him from a special three. Normally, that's it for you. That's all she wrote. We got lucky. He didn't fire the special three. But then we got the infections, everything, and we got some power drain on him. That was sweet, okay? So now here we go. F uh, final one with Black Widow Clairvoyant. Um, I probably should have gone in with Black Widow Clairvoyant in the first place. Reason being, my play style against him, as I mentioned, is... I can evade some of his special one. So that means that as long as I can keep cycling her special two in Curse of Blood and heal up, I can heal up the damage that I'm taking from his special one, okay? So all of this right here, I can still heal it back up if I go back, but he's already low, all right? See all of that, all right? He's, he's not gonna survive it. And we're going to finish him off. So she's actually a pretty good option for that fight, given my particular play style. All right. So that's it for the fighting. And after a little intermission, we're going to come back and you're going to find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. So the first war of the season is a win and in the history books. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.